Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Riley White, and I'm a third grade reading, writing, and ELA teacher. So this year, we were fortunate enough to get the entire week of Thanksgiving off. And so right after school on Friday the 20th, my family and I got on a plane and we took off for Disney World. Disney World is one of my favorite places. It was decked out for Christmas. So much fun, not too hot. Like it is the best time to go. And so I thought I would vlog it because what better way to kick off my 12 days of Christmas than a Disney World Christmas vlog, am I right? So enough talking about it. Let's get to it. It's Animal Kingdom, which is Disney Day 1. Um, we got in really late last night, as you saw earlier. And so today is our first official day in a park. Once we made it inside the park, we took off straight for Pandora because it is a new addition. Well, not super new, but I haven't got to see it yet, so I knew I had to check it out first thing. What you're seeing now is the line for Flight of Passage in Pandora. It is where you get to ride on the back of a banshee. It is super fun. I don't want to give anything away, but it's incredible. You've got to check it out. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. Once we match you to an Avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that Avatar. And right after Flight of Passage, we made our way to the Navi River Journey. <laughs> After Pandora, we headed on over to Africa for the Kilimanjaro Safari. So before that, they're often mistaken to be a relative of the zebra. But the stable is able to fight them off and usually win most of the time. And they typically live around 17 to 8 years old as well. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the Beabop tree, oh, the okay. elephant, the flamingos. Of course, you can't forget about the ducks. <laughs> we can tell the difference for the male and the female by the male yeah. having a mane and the female not having a mane. <laughs> After Africa, we headed over to Asia for Expedition Everest. I didn't get a ton of footage of this because I'm still a little nervous to record like on the actual rise. White shoes in Disney wasn't my best idea. And if you haven't ever got to go see Rafiki's Planet Watch, do yourself a favor and check it out next time. Um, my family would often overlook this one, to be honest, but we got to go this time, and it was so cool. We got to see the room where they do checkups and procedures on the animals that may need it. Um, and we also got to do a animation experience where they teach you how to draw some of Disney World's characters. On this particular day, we happened to draw Crush and Squirt from Finding Nemo, and yeah, you don't have to tell me, I already know I'm an artist. But for real, making you feel like an artist is just more of the Disney magic, I guess. So it's Epcot day two. Uh, nope, it's Disney World day two. Today we are at Epcot. That's what I was trying to say. Um, I totally neglected getting into the park and the whole first half of our day because I forgot I was recording this. But 
We're here now, so. We start our day with Soren. Hello, and welcome to Soren. My name is Patty, and I'll be your chief financial manager. We'll be getting going in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. In other news, I got the white shoes clean. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. You probably don't think of fish, but fish farming or aquaculture accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Finally, after being closed for half of the day, we finally got to go on Test Track, which is probably the biggest thrill attraction in Epcot. And the concept behind the Test Track is just that, you are testing a car that is getting ready to go on market. So we're in Paris now, and this is where the new Ratatouille attraction is going to come. So I'll have to come back to check this out. It's gonna be super cool. It sounded good. I almost thought about getting one. being the start of the food and wine festival at Epcot. We didn't know that when we booked the trip, but it was a super cool surprise. But I also just noticed my camera battery is blinking at me because I forgot to charge it last night. So if it dies, I'm sorry. Just know our Epcot day was spent riding the rides and then touring the um, World Showcase here at Epcot. And this is, in fact, when the camera died. Disney Day 3 is Magic Kingdom Day. So let's go. And this is one of my favorite clips from the entire vlog because it just doesn't get better than Main Street USA at Christmas time. And our first ride on Magic Kingdom Day was Space Mountain, the classic. I'm gonna break the rules. It's a really good angle. After my snack, it was time to lose terribly on the Space Ranger spin. Give me that score. Give me that score. I got a score. I lost. Are you happy? She lost.
Tangled Tower. I was super excited about it. Tangled is my favorite movie, and so I knew this would be my favorite here in the park. Turns out it's just a rest stop. It's a very fancy bathroom, but my favorite nonetheless. She has a tower. We've been putting off the mine train all day thinking for sure this line would go down and the best it's done is gone down from like 90, 90 was the max right, like 90 to 75 so now we're gonna go all the way around the attraction in line for it. <laughs> Day three at the Magic Kingdom. My ankles hurt. <laughs> Disney Day four, uh, Hollywood Studios Day. Yeah. Baby Yoda ready for Galaxy's Edge. First step in Hollywood Studios is the new ride, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I tried to record this one for you guys, but I mean, just see for yourself. Hollywood Studios. The whole concept here is that you were shrunk to the size of a toy and it was just super neat. We actually didn't do any attractions until nighttime, but I wanted to walk through during the day for videoing purposes. And finally, the moment you, well, I don't know about you, but the moment we were waiting for, Galaxy's Edge. Here we got to fly the Millennium Falcon on Smuggler's Run, and we were fortunate enough to get boarding passes onto the newest attraction, Rise of the Resistance. And honestly guys, Disney outdid themselves with this one. It is hands down like the coolest ride I've ever been on. looking antenna I have ever seen. You have what I want. 
You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. They're needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Odd base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. And then I will destroy you and the resistance. the Tower of Terror. That's a wrap on Disney Parks. So sad, but I'm excited to get home to Denver and Puggles. I miss them. So sad. does it for the Disney vlog. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my 12 day of Christmas uploads. Speaking of the 12 days, if you have any ideas for vlogs or videos that you would like to see during that time, please put those in the comments below because while I do have a few ideas, I always like to take into account your preferences. So that's all I've got for today. Until next time. Bye guys. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Dixon and Dixon and all his reindeers pulling on the reins.